so in the series of learning python programming language we are done with sets in python so the next topic is loops in python so in this video we will be discussing about for loop in python right okay now what is loop basically loop is what when you are repeating the same thing or same action again and again that is what a loop nothing else right like if you want to print number from 1 to 5 so simply you are repeating the same action what you will do in python if you i ask you to print number from 1 to 5 what you will do simply like print 1 then print 2 something like this until print 5 means same action here action is what print same action is repeating again and again here you are repeating the same action again and again that is what a loop that's it right like suppose if your mom is having a list to buy the things to buy from the supermarket and she asks, she asks you like first thing is banana and she asks you like uh, go and buy banana you go to supermarket buy banana and come back to home then again the second item buy apple you go to supermarket again come back third item like maybe buy dragon fruit so you go to supermarket buy dragon fruit come to home means you are in loop you are doing same action again and again going to supermarket buy something and come to home kind of that thing right but the better idea is like you just take the list go to supermarket take a trolley pick the first item banana that item put in trolley second item <laughs> like mango like this all the items at the same time and come to home that is better option right so yeah basically i hope you got this what is a loop basically right repeating same action or same thing again and again again and again that is a loop right so in programming also we have to do these kind of tasks sometime we have to repeat some statements or some instructions again and again some statements sorry again and again right so you can put so that is what a loop so you can put those statements under a single line like in a loop and you don't have to write the same statements again and again so this thing we can do with the help of loop how that also i'll tell you in that case you need to write down the sprint only single time like one time not five times because yeah that is fine you can write down print five times but if i ask you to print 100 times 1 to 100 if i ask you to print 1 to 200 1 to 1000 so it is not possible to write down 1000 time print statement and that is obviously a you know waste of space right and waste of your time right so better to use loops in python for this thing we have loops in python basically two types of loop for loop and while loop third is also that is nested loop nested means what within loop within a loop like you are you have written a for loop within that loop you have written again a for loop or maybe a while loop right that is what a nested loop but mainly two types of loop for and while so in this video we will be talking about for loop so here for loop is what in python basically maybe if you have uh, read for loop in other languages c c plus plus java then it is not the same like like we have discussed in other languages right in python this for loop is more like an iterator now what is iterator iterator is you can say which is used to do some iteration iterations is, is what traversing a sequence one by one traversing a sequence one by one that is called iteration sequence here is what now now sequence in python is what collection of items sequence data times are what list tuple set dictionary that we haven't discussed we will be discussing later string is also a sequence so like this if we have a list something like this if we have like four names so this is a list or you can say this is a sequence collection of items right so traversing of this sequence traversing means go to first item then second item then third item and then fourth item like this so this is what traversing this is what iteration and using iterator we do this iteration so that is basically in python for loop for loop is more like an iterator right so we can say a for loop in python is used used to iterate over a sequence in python right and do some specific action for each item or you can do some specific action on each item in that sequence right a sequence may be a list or a set or a tuple or a string or a dictionary let's take one example <clears throat> how you will let's uh, see syntax of for loop you simply write this for 
will be writing our variable name here any variable name in membership operator not in and in with we have discussed in here you will write that sequence name sequence then column sequence may be uh, list of this name or tuple name or whatever you have taken that sequence name and here you can write down those statements one statement or multiple statements can be there this is simple syntax of writing a for loop there is no specific condition like in other languages we have we have to initialize for loop then we be giving some condition then increment decrement and all so nothing you have to specify that set you have to do in python right you don't have to initialize any like variable name or anything fine now in this case suppose i have this list list 1 list 1 is this so what you will write like for you variable name any variable name you can take like i'm i a b c d x y z anything so if these are names right or you can say here also you can take a uh, that meaningful name names list name is names so i'm taking a meaningful variable name also for name not the same variable name that you have taken the sequence name that should be different here we have names here we have name for name in sequence name is what names for each name in names what you need to do here you can do whatever you want to do simply the very basic and simple thing and i just want to print so print and i just want to print each name after traversing i want to pr uh, print each name so print this variable name you have to write down here print name that's it okay i forgot the semicolon and please this statement would be indent indented this indentation is very important otherwise it will give error you will if you write them print here here without any indentation it will give error right so better take some indentation here now what it will give what is the working first names is what this so it would be here this complete list would be here or rather than this that directly here rather than names directly you can put this list here that is also fine so now first of all this what is the internal working this this names would be replaced with this list now for name in names first name jenny would be assigned to this name this is a variable name or a placeholder so in name first we have jenny for jenny in names so condition is true in operator uh, membership operator that it, that will give because jenny in jenny is present in this list names so it will give true so enter into for loop and print name so in name we have jenny so it will print jenny now again now next is ram so next time ram would be assigned to this name ram in names yes true print name so in next line ram will be printed like this next time rahul would be assigned to this name next time pail would be assigned to this name all the conditions are true and we will print till the end of the list it will print all the name jenny ram rahul and pail something like this so this is simple working of for loop right it will do these actions whatever you will write here it will execute these statements for each item in the sequence sequence may be list or tuple or set or dictionary or string right if rather than this if you simply take string then also it will work if i simply take this string jenny this is also a sequence so in names now we have jenny string in name now what we have first time we will have j so j in names yes so it will print first j then e then n n y something like this right so if we draw flow chart or simply if we try to draw flow chart for this for loop then that would be like uh, for each item in sequence what it will do last item reached if this is true then exit from for loop right but if this is not true but that this is not the last item in the sequence then what it will do 
whatever the statement is there that would be executed if this is false and then again will be here so this is kind of flow chart you can draw for this for loop in python right once last item reached exit from for loop i have told you it is more like an iterator method that we find in other object oriented programming languages not more like for loop right in other languages the for loop is there so not same that for loop but it's more like an iterator means we execute these set of statement once for each item in the sequence right yeah but also now how you will print like 1 2 100 and 1 2 200 that also we can do for that we have another method in function here that is range function so you can use range function in for loop and you can print uh, the numbers also right now let me just show you this thing with the help of practically we'll see like uh, program with the help of program i'll show you okay so let's create a new file here i'll be naming it four underscore loop dot py right okay simply first we will take any sequence let's take a list why always list let's take a string only so i will be taking like name equal to and here i am taking jenny that's it now for let's take a variable name let's take i in item you can take for i in this name then colon and you simply want to print that is the simplest action we can do print print but you have to put here variable name i right let's just run this and i'll show you see j e n n y you have traversed this sequence using for loop that's what iterator do right iteration traversing a sequence and this statement can be executed once for every item in this uh, this uh, sequence so this time i'll be taking a list so now this time we have names this list and same you can do with this if uh, you you can just variable name is i is fine let's run this and this time see jenny ram and shyam right but within this you can also this is what the simplest thing we can do but we will use it you know in more complex actions and within this not exactly one statement you can write multiple statements also right uh, and see the indentation path that is very important if you do not put here indentation that is by default actually because see whenever after this i enter then cursor is here by default indented so simply like print and i but if you do not if you remove this indentation that would be an error see indentation error expected an indented block after four statement in line so you have to be very careful about this indentation part because this will specify a block these whatever statements are indented that are under this for loop right in c or c plus plus or another languages for representing the block we use curly braces right but here we don't have such kind of thing simply indented means this this is under the for loop and this is a block so rather than this we can also here print some other thing we can also do like if i print some condition if uh, this i equal to equal to jenny if this is the case okay so jenny is a string so we must put this in here if this is the case again i enter and again it is indented after if also we need some indentation right and simply suppose i print uh, hey it's me <laughs> nothing but simply i know that is not having much sense but taking just simple example so let's run this and see first name is jenny after jenny if it will check if the name is this i is jenny yes i in i we have now jenny first time jenny would be assigned to this i right so it will print hey it's me then ram then ram this is not true for ram so sham and sham and this is also not true for sham so after jenny it will print hey it's me right so we'll take one more complex example now so i am having suppose a list list one and i am having some numbers here like two three 
any number you can take like minus 2 and any number we can take 10 and I want to calculate square of each item square of each item in the list right so first we have to access each item then we calculate square right so how you can access each item we have a for loop here for like i in list one or if you take more meaningful name better to take meaningful names so let's take numbers right for i in numbers right you have to calculate squares so let's take a variable m square only square is equal to this i and this is our operator 2 and simply I can print square. Let's run this. See 4, 9, 25, 4 and 100. For minus 2 it's 4 only right plus 4 and 100. But I want rather than this I want list of these squares like this a list should be printed. So that is your you can say quiz for this class. So pause the video and try this out. You have to calculate square but you have to print rather than this a list. Right. Now if you are blank right now so you can go through the list and list methods actually. All the methods and you will find out appropriate method for this. So pause the video and try this out. So I hope you have done this. What we can do? We can take another empty list and we can add square in that list and we can print that list. So let us take an empty list. Suppose squares is an empty list. This is empty list, we do not have anything. right? Now after calculating this square, what we can do rather than directly printing, what we can do in squares, in that empty list, squares, we can append that square value. So dot append, this is the correct method. And here we will put what you need to add here square, this square. Do not get confused in these names. This is squares, list name is squares and square is a variable name in which we have square of each item. So the square we will add here and rather than printing here, after this for loop we will print what? Squares, this list. That is it. Let us run this. And see now, here we got the list. Fine. Or if you want to print something like this, uh, the uh, list of squares is and comma, that is also fine. Here you can put that list name. So, see the list of squares as this. So, rather than just printing, we can do many other things with this for loop. But that is what over a sequence you can use this for loop. Yeah, we have a range method also that also we will be discussing. So, you have to take any sequence and for each item of that sequence, you can do whatever you want to do. This action. These two lines are indented. So, this is what for these two lines are under in this for loop. This is what outside of the for loop because this is not indented right and if you if what if I put indented this on this line also this line would also be now a part of for loop now let us see what happens see this line would also be printed five times because here we have five items for each item list of square is first four then four nine then this then this and then this right so I hope you got the difference. So you can now try this out different different sequence like for tuples, for sets, different different things because we have taken only string and uh, list. So on tuples, on set, dictionary, so I have not discussed. So tuples and set you can take and you can try out anything while iterating over that sequence, right. So I hope you got what is for loop in Python. Now next is we can also use else with for loop. Yes, for else. You have must have heard if else. But four else is also possible. So that we will be discussing in next video. Now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.